We often hear about astronauts who've gone into or returned from orbit. Each such flight is a test of strength, a huge risk, defying the laws of physics. But humans aren't the first living beings to have been in space. The real pioneers were animals. Different creatures, from mice to monkeys, opened the door to the stars for humanity. But what happened to them? Scientists don't like to talk about it, and it's not for no reason. In this video, you'll learn the fate of the real first cosmonauts, you'll find out what information is usually suppressed, and the reason for this secrecy. You'll find out what actually led to successfully sending a person into space, and what the true price of progress is. Progress that's measured in the lives of animals. Before sending people into space, we needed to find out its effect on living beings. But we couldn't risk people's lives right away. So animals came to the rescue. They've been used in aeronautical research since the late 18th century. Back then, a ram, a duck, and a rooster were sent up in a balloon. Every single one of the participants in these experiments survived. In general, that's nothing surprising. But let's move beyond the era before the airplane. We're interested in space. The first living creatures specially sent into space were common fruit flies. They traveled aboard an American V-2 rocket and returned to Earth alive. The overload didn't hurt such tiny creatures. And then two years later, a monkey was sent into space. It was necessary to study the effect of microgravity on the vertebrate organism. And what could be closer to a human than a monkey? The subject was a rhesus macaque named Albert II. Albert I was also sent up and could have become the first ape in space, but its rocket didn't go high enough. At the same time, almost all of the documentation related to the flight is missing. Perhaps for a reason. Albert II's flight ended tragically. The parachute failed. The macaque crashed upon landing. And this animal wasn't the only victim. At the time, scientists tried sending apes into space quite often. They were implanted with different sensors. The animals were given a sedative before launch. The mortality rate among monkeys at this stage was very high. About two-thirds of them died on missions or shortly after landing. Now imagine these numbers for launches involving people. The first mouse in space also turned out to be a sacrifice. The V-2 rocket it was flying in crashed. Other space mice were also unlucky. Few of them could have expected to live long and happy lives, but this was only the beginning. On the 22nd of July, 1951, the Soviet Union launched a rocket to an altitude of 101 kilometers, or 62 miles, with dogs named Tsigan and Dizik on board. These were the first superior animals to survive such a flight. Information about these dogs was kept in the strictest secrecy for 40 years. Only then did it become clear that Dizik only lived one week after he returned to Earth. He died on his next mission. Tsigan was more fortunate. He lived another 10 years. But there was a trip to orbit ahead. And this one was fatal. An ordinary stray dog named Laika became the first animal to enter the orbit of our planet. At first, she spent a long time in the onboard mock-up. And before the flight, she also underwent an operation to implant breath and pulse sensors. But scientists already knew that Laika wouldn't return to Earth. In orbit, about seven hours after launch, she died. This was due to overheating and tremendous stress. It's simply impossible to imagine. How does it feel for a small dog to be in orbit? When it's completely surrounded by lifeless, dangerous space, some believe that the lack of a thermoregulation system is to blame for Laika's death. According to another version, she died as a result of an interruption in her oxygen supply. There are many possibilities, some more terrible than others. With the dog's body on board, the satellite made more than 2,000 orbits around the planet 
before burning up in the atmosphere. People were told about Laika as if she was still alive. The truth was revealed much later. After Laika's flight, scientists attempted sending other dogs, monkeys, rabbits, frogs, and mice into space. Not all managed to even leave the ground. The rockets often exploded during launch, but this didn't stop scientists' efforts. After Laika's tragic flight, they decided to send other dogs into orbit. They needed to be two lightly colored and pretty females. The former to make them more visible on the monitors, the latter so the dogs would look good in photos. To do this, the mutt dogs Belka and Strelka were chosen. After heavy training, they spent about 25 hours in orbit, and they were able to return alive. This made Belka and Strelka stars of space exploration. Sometime later, after landing, Strelka gave birth to six healthy puppies. Both dogs lived in an aviary at the Institute until the end of their days. They never went into space again. But why dogs? Why did these animals play such an important role in space exploration? They're easily trainable and have good health, and can easily survive even in terrible conditions. There have been some famous apes as well. Ham became the first chimpanzee astronaut. He helped scientists prove that simple tasks can be performed in space. Ham's fate can be called lucky. He survived. After his flight, he lived in various zoos for 17 years. There's a grave in the Museum of Space History in memory of him. Finally, it was time to take a chance. On April 12, 1961, Yuri Gagarin became the first human to go into space. It seemed that experimenting on animals was finished. But in 1969, the macaque Bonnie was supposed to spend a month in orbit. But his health drastically deteriorated and he had to be returned to Earth. A day after landing, Bonnie died. Despite this, his flight helped people better understand the impact of space on the body. Many animals have been in space. Only about 30 monkeys have been sent. The exact number of dogs that the USSR has launched into space is probably impossible to count, but there were still other creatures. Felicet became the first cat to visit outer space. To monitor her condition during the flight, electrodes were implanted in Felicet's brain. The Astro Cat was able to enter zero gravity and make it back alive. After the flight, scientists studied Felicet for several months, and then, unfortunately, she died. And here's an interesting fact. All of the cats involved in that space program had no names. This was done so that scientists didn't get attached to the animals. But after her successful flight, Felicet received her name. Turtles have also conquered space. They were one of the first Earth creatures to fly around the moon. Bion 7 had 10 newts on board. They'd had part of their front limbs amputated. This is how scientists studied regeneration rates in space. In 1990, China launched guinea pigs into space. In the future, it will become less likely that people resort to using mammals. These days, they're using insects, amphibians, and other such creatures, most of which have returned to Earth alive. Over time, space travel is becoming safer for all of us. Throughout the history of space exploration, people have used animals. But despite the losses, these animals have taught scientists a lot. These furry astronauts gave their lives in the name of technological progress. And they opened the way to the stars for us. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And click on the bell to receive timely notifications about the release of new, interesting videos that are waiting for you ahead.